Hey everybody, this is Austin of the Best Second 40 Antiques Channel. You know, every time I run into something weird, a little bit unique, I'm, I'm just going to make a video of it. Hopefully, eventually, I'll appeal to everyone with something at the very least. So today, I've just got an old glass bottle that my wife found. And you know, again, credit where it's due. My wife's a pretty amazing-eyed little bird. So look, she actually found this on a riverbank. It is still full of mud. It says, let's see if we can see it. It says, B, oh, MBNG and Company. And that is the bottle manufacturer. I've already looked this up. So I like to teach you guys about stuff if I can. Um, you can identify it as older glass first off because it has a let me find one <laughs> idiot <laughs> because it has bubbles in it so older glass has bubbles in it because it was a it was a less refined technique to make clear and you know uh, I don't mean to say clear glass but um to make um not bubbly glass whatever there's less cavities in the in the glass then it's obviously stronger you know anytime you introduce a imperfection into glass it becomes weaker so yeah um now yeah. this is an old beer bottle Schlitz let's pan over his little writing here pretty pretty thoroughly now Schlitz beer I think is a Milwaukee company um I think in 1802 or 1902 I think 1902 they sold um, a million barrels of beer which made them the most popular brewery in the world at the time did I say a million barrels because that's what I meant to say okay anyway so back here it says I'm gonna I'm gonna pan across it so you can see it in the glare it's pretty tough for me to read too uh, this bottle and you'll notice they spell bottle differently no they didn't I'm an idiot <laughs> I thought the last one was an L I, th I thought the E and the L were switched <laughs> God God Austin <laughs> so anyway this bottle never eh eh never sold so uh this was a deposit bottle and they wanted it back and uh there were a couple of reasons they wanted their bottles back first off <clears throat> uh, you don't want to have to just keep buying new bottles uh second um people would take them and then refill them with whatever from the store and then third people would actually um use their bottles and then put some inferior or you know a different brew in there you know who knows if it was going to be Schlitz or whatever so um uh, so yeah they just wanted their bottles back so you couldn't use them for whatever you were going to use them for uh, and they would even go so far as to when they got their deposits back they would break off these uh, I think this is called a blob top but they would they would break those off to ensure that no one could reuse their bottles and yeah, this is a pretty big bottle. I mean, in my hand, it's that big. It's got to be like a liter or something. <laughs> Someone say liter of cola. So, uh, <clears throat> now this is actually very interesting. And we can actually date this bottle, even though it doesn't have a date on it. We can't date it specifically. But Schlitz was the first company to use brown beer bottles in 1912. So, we know that this beer bottle is more than 100 years old uh, prior to 1912 so more than 109 years old and yeah my wife just found it on the bank of a river while we were messing around all full of dirt and stuff she just saw the little uh she just saw the little blob top sticking out there and she went to grab it assuming it was just going to be like the neck of a bottle and yeah this whole thing came out so schlitz over 100 years old and uh I guess this goes in the budget corner stuff because I think uh, we didn't pay anything for it so it, obviously it's a budget antique 
<laughs> I was looking these up. I don't know exactly what they're worth. I've seen, um, you know, old models like this selling for between fifty and four hundred dollars. I I don't know, but I do know that it's over a hundred year old glass bottle, and and that's got to be pretty good. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. It also says uh, registered on the front. So if you see these, I'm gonna watch these other things behind this stuff. So if you see this uh, B, uh, what was it? What was it again? M, B, and G company bottles. They, I think they all said registered, and then I think they all said this bottle not for sale. This bottle never sold, that's right. So yeah, learn about something weird and interesting today. <clears throat> I'm sure we all see bottles all the time, but now you know that if you see a clear bottle from Schlitz, it dates prior to 1912. And, uh, you know, I'm not a beer bottle expert by any means, so if anybody has any more information on that or they want to correct anything I'm saying, I'm absolutely cool with it. I'd rather, I'd rather learn with everyone than pretend I know everything, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, hopefully we can all help each other, and this can be like a little community where people like each other and, and get along and and have contributing information and stuff wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be an abnormality on the internet <laughs> just people just people being nice and sharing their brains and stuff that's well i don't know what to say about that <laughs> this is awesome the best i can afford antiques channel like share subscribe do what you want i appreciate all of it love talking to you guys feel free to comment that's really that's really what i like <laughs> this is awesome